Uh, I have a problem here. <laughs> you, what did you do? Why is it doing that? What did you touch? I think I, I had to adjust it. No. It's hey, probably to see still too far away. <laughs> Good to see you. Long time no see. And whose fault is that? Largely mine. Yep. I take accountability. I of course. have been busy traveling and seeing the world gallivanting. Actually, last week I was just unwell. Um, oh, that's right. You were sick last yeah, week. Yeah, and I probably I now could have I come. feel bad. But the week prior, <laughs> I was traveling, and the week previous to that, I think was maybe the day before Christmas. I don't remember. Chase. No, Christmas is on a Sunday this year, or Monday. Well, the day before Christmas Eve, our Christmas Eve for the office. Regardless, I've been busy, um, but here I am, in all my glory. Here he yeah. is, Miss America. So, Happy New Year, 2024. First time throwing down in the new year. Mm-hmm. All true. Hm. How's your new year going so far? It's going great. What are your ins and outs of the new year? I don't even know what that means. Well, so what are you embracing in and what are you throwing out? I, I didn't do that. <laughs> I just... Why? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I guess like if I have things I want to get rid of, I just get rid of them in the moment. It's kind of like Amazon, right? You don't wait for your present now till Christmas or birthday. You're just like, oh, I can have that tomorrow. True. I do the same thing with problems and bad habits. I say, you know what? I'm done with this. I know it's June 2nd, not <laughs> January 1st, and I don't care. With I'm a hot done. summer day. I'm done. So, yeah, I, uh, I don't really have anything. I think it's a good, I mean, whatever, mentally, I think, we, you know, hey, I'm going to restart, refresh. I don't know. I, but I didn't have anything special. I did enter into a dry January, as I often do. Um, oh, you did that? Yeah. Or are you doing that? I'm doing it. It's day 11. The How last, do you feel? I feel fine. The last three years, <laughs> the last three years, I went, like, it got progressively, like, I did all January, and then I was like, okay, and then two years ago then it was like january february mm -hmm. and then last year i was like oh it's march 18th mm -hmm. and, and then i went on a cruise and all bets were off yeah and so something similar this time is i'm going to january is going to be damp i guess um okay i was gonna say moist but that's it right oh, yeah see not even I worse it. i knew it um mm. so this week i'm going to new york city with some friends and mm -hmm. i know that like we'll probably have a couple of cocktails so then i'll come back and i'll just recalibrate and then do dry january through february um jt had a suggestion for what we talk about today put myself in the eye <laughs> yep well you get what you get you don't get upset um stanley versus yeti what are yeah, your thoughts i i'm really excited about it um it's gonna be a great matchup and uh live on pay-per-view this friday let's get it god that's not no. no okay i don't know what it is you genuinely don't know what I it mean, is. I mean, I know Yeti is a cop, but Stanley yeah, is. You use Yeti is it cups. Stanley or Stan Lee? Stanley, not the Stanley. Okay, so <laughs> that's important. Can he important. rest in peace? He's uh, dead, yeah. right? He did die, yes. yeah. Yeah. May he rest in peace. Um, is Stanley a type of mug? Yeah, I have a Stanley. I have oh. two Stanleys. Not to. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. That's so bougie. Yeah, the hot pink one. So Stan, okay, so maybe I just heard people pronounce it the st Stanley. You're saying Stanley. So you, I think you're projecting <laughs> onto me because I don't think that was ever an issue of your lack of knowledge of the topic that we're talking Fair about. Fair enough. I probably would still not have known, <laughs> but I do think. I don't think the way I pronounced it is what set you back of not knowing what no, we're talking about. I mean, about. I just know Yeti, so that's why I. I, it was, you know, contextual. I'm like, Yeti, it's got to be a competition against another mug. All the kids are asking, did your daughter ask for a Stanley Cup this Christmas? She did not. Oh, a Yeti? She did not, but oh. we have Yetis in the house. Yeah. Multiple Yetis. I have a Yeti cooler to your right. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know if Stanley has any coolers. I guess this matchup is over. I don't know, but I love the cup. I've seen some good... Or I, I saw a good one, like a, 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 a Instagram thing was like, guy like shows up with a coffee, a thing for his wife and like mm -hmm. puts it on the counter. And it is just like. Oh, I think because I think that was one of the original Stanley's maybe. Okay. Because it was a company before women started taking. I feel like it's more uh, womanhood. 
okay. taken over. Um, put a picture. You can't see it, but the viewers will see the picture that we're talking about. But yeah, it it's lovely. more. <laughs> it's beautiful. Husbands got almost like um, what's the thermal? What is that called? Campers use them. You put hot chocolate in them. Yetis. No, <laughs> the actual cup. You, like put like a mug. No. Oh, a thermos. This, y- yes. Is that what it's called? Yeah. So it looks like that. Okay. <laughs> but it's not what the wife wanted. Got it. Mm-hmm. Got it. So you just so. need to do better. You just need to know your wife. Yeah. Or ruin your life. Oh, got all the sayings. and <laughs> She's got so much in store in 2024. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jeez. What was I going to say? I was married seven years before I had kids. Really? Yeah. Which I, I think that's lovely because that I always like there was no rush to have kids because you should enjoy your time, you know, like when you live together, then when you first get married and it's still just you two. I think it's important. I think I'm a very big advocate for people still being people and who they are, not just like mom and dad, you know, I feel like that's my biggest thing. Because I feel like once people have kids, they forget that they're people, and then it's all about the kids. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we try to do a good job of that, like mm-hmm. taking couples trips. We, I mean, obviously we can do better with date nights and things like that, but uh, it it does get difficult. Mm-hmm. So um, it almost becomes about the kids because it like it just it's the time commitment, you know? It's right. Just, Which uh, like totally understand, totally get, but I think I don't know. I feel like, and God forbid you say that. Right. Right. <laughs> But I feel like you just need to be honest. We're like, kids do ruin everything with mm-hmm. peace and love. Yeah, of course. Wouldn't change yeah. it for the world. I love all my siblings. But there's been plenty of moments where I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, they drive you nuts. It's, mm-hmm. uh, it's, a, inter- it's a really Real amazing culture. relationship. You know, I said uh, my buddy and I were talking about the other day. I was like, you both agreed. You know, if we didn't love them so much, we'd kill them. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. it's just, there's nobody else in my, if anybody behaved like that at work, I would just fire them immediately. Fire. You know, I, You're I, fired. I, I can't believe I'm talking to you about this for the 10th time or the second time normalize um, firing kids yeah. <laughs> maybe we should make that a thing for 2024 <clears throat> and now they just stay longer i couldn't wait yeah. to get out of my house i know like I, apartment and everything. I know i'm staying longer yeah I'm 24 and i'm still i'm just living life at it's home a little different <laughs> because your mom's pretty young your mom's very young yeah very very young are you just saying that because you guys are like the same age? That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh um, my God. <laughs> <clears throat> and so I do think that that's a little bit, that's like a, a little twist on it, but. Yeah, I think it's different too where you just, if it if it works, it works. You know, don't get me wrong. There's still moments where, and I know it on both ends, where we're like, oh my God, we need you like. Yes, yeah, I space. need a minute yeah. to just have my own energy, my own vibe. But I think we need to find um, a niche. If that I makes agree. sense, I agree. I know JT was like, you got to make it Rhode Islandish so that we can target Rhode Islanders. But it's like, well, maybe we'll be famous in like Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> How do we do that? I love where we're from, but how do you there's only so much like bill the patriots man i right, know that's like massachusetts how much, no, but, but I mean, how much can you talk about the patriots right like i can't i cannot i physically and emotionally cannot because my brain just doesn't go there no and i don't want to talk sports with you i want somebody to be engaged with whatever we're talking i would about. just be confused the whole time yeah. and i'd be like yeah that sounds awesome i do feel like maybe just some life talk for five to ten minutes is kind of interesting it's almost like a reality show right you know what's going on yeah and then you're on there's no, there's no like what's the what's the story in the reality show it's just the story of their lives right that's this awesome. is what i'm saying that's i think awesome. that's our niche <laughs> <laughs> i no i think we need a niche i think we need to figure out something that we both care about whether it's myself (laughs) (laughs) where it's like whether it's self-care self-improvement business tactics like what we need to figure out and we need to make that the topic because 
knowing how much I can talk, imagine if it was for something useful and not just about myself. So do you think we pick maybe for the the month we say, okay, this week it's going to be business. This week it's going to be culture. This week it's going to be self-improvement. Yeah, I think that but would be great. we hold ourselves to... Staying on topic. And time. And time. I think even narrowing down on the topic will even help us time I agree. already I agree. and then still holding us accountable for time right because it's very easy to so easy like i'm like a dog right. seeing a squirrel right yeah well, with i'm guilty of that too and i think it'll be better for it not to be the Jaden show people want Jaden. listen i get it <laughs> i totally get it i'm a hoot and a half but gotta be respectful (laughs) all right well i think that's what we'll do so we'll we'll be armed and ready for next session but before we wrap this up i really want to know we're going to go back here a few weeks because your old boy billy um had a tough time around the christmas trying to figure out what he was going to put in a stocking oh my god and i i was i was successful i had a bit of a breakdown (laughs) a bit part of it was for show i've no i've never I the, wanted to be dramatic on purpose, but I also was very fl- frustrated by everything. You were dramatic off camera, not right. when the cameras were rolling. But to our, our team, I think that was kind of fun. <laughs> it was fun <laughs> to play a character <laughs> um, and well played because <laughs> we were all stressed for you. Thank you. Nobody and did anything for me, though, by the way. You're right. But want to know something? So the next day, because that was on a Thursday, right? I think so on a thursday next day on the friday come in and i'm like talking to kayla about something i'm like oh my god i completely forgot i need a yankee swap gift for scuba's christmas eve party for his family's party and i was like i have to go to no man's land in that plaza after work after work after work holy which smoke. because it was well it was a remember we had a half day on friday oh okay all right so but you were there even like, then yeah. 12 p.m lunchtime in that plaza Madhouse. i was like oh my god i was stressing out i was like kill what am i gonna do I, I don't even know what i'm gonna get never mind like if they're gonna have anything oh, there oh boy and then i thought Maybe I shouldn't tell Bill this because <laughs> of the hard time I gave him about waiting last minute. I didn't mean to. I just kept forgetting. Me too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but <laughs> but what really makes it worse is going to that plaza. It, okay, it wasn't as bad because I didn't go to Barnes and Nobles. I only went to Target, and it really wasn't bad. Oh, you got lucky. I was even on the phone with my mom, and usually like in that situation around christmas time you are on your target yeah you are not on the phone yeah. talking about your day yeah lucky yeah i was in a line i'm not kidding you 30 people in front of me at barnes and noble 30 yeah and i was there the day earlier picking up a book ghost town and there was seriously there was Crickets. nobody i just walked up to that i was like oh no why why, why would i do this why did i make this mistake i know but i got through it and um my wife was uh happy she also said you don't know why you did that i didn't need any of this stuff of course it's easy to say after the gifts are in the <laughs> stock i was switching you're like yeah like, <laughs> what? Right. okay um what did you get her you never did haul yeah i don't know it's all blur it really is i really i know i think some you, like journals and some. you you didn't come in with well you only came into the office with your chipotle bag after and you looked like you had been hit by a truck well they gave me the wrong food i ordered the wrong order because i was frazzled i ordered it wasn't from their fault them, it was my fault i ordered from them last week they gave me a lot of cheese to the point where i took a picture and i, I was like i can't believe how much <laughs> cheese they gave me on my order did you order like extra cheese no <laughs> maybe i didn't on accident but i was like oh my god <laughs> i can't even see the rest of my bowl that's how much cheese covered the surface yeah i've had some interesting so i misordered that time you had that with the cheese mm-hmm. And the airport, I the, the Baltimore airport, bless their hearts. Um, they're all very sweet people at that Chipotle. But man, uh, it's always something that happens at that place. They did either don't have the uh, guacamole, or they didn't have this, or they're out of that. Or I'm like, man, I don't know why I go here, but I'm gonna. But the I was going to go to um, 
oh my gosh the chicken place chick-fil-a uh, yeah i knew it but i was just while you were talking about chick-fil-a i was thinking about chick-fil-a because yeah, we're fast food mine now but the line was like 50 people so i was like oh, i'll go to chipotle that's only 25 people the they in their effort to be efficient they the person this lovely woman who was like hey do you want a bowl or a, a like a burrito, a burrito? I, like i was if you're not watching this but i was here she was almost by the tv in the other room she was getting that far, which is probably like 15 feet she or so maybe she's more screaming she's yelling, at you she was handling everybody in front of me so like they all took the order and then by the time i got closer now i'm like seven people out and she's it was on to the next person who's like <laughs> what kind of protein or whatever was that where you offer toppings i'm i'm yelling i i'm laughing and the guy in front of me like turns and smiles i said i i've never ordered this far away from I've the never counter ordered before. like this before <laughs> he's like we're pretty far away to be we're yelling our orders i'm like this is bananas and i was so frazzled by it and i should be better than this i was so frazzled i forgot to get my double rice because I was like, uh, 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 rice! <laughs> <laughs> I'm yelling. And then I, she goes, that, then I, she's so far away, I can't even ask for a, a guacamole because I was like, she was like, D -d 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 done. And I was like, I, I, but I wanted I guac. wanted the guac too. And then, so when I got up to the end, I ordered a side of guac. Oof. Okay. Which is the same price. And I was right. like, I'll put it on myself. Woman at the register didn't hear me, apparently. Because when she checks me out, she goes, just the one bowl in the just the one bowl i go yes and then i saw my ring i go oh no i didn't get the side of guac best part i go oh no i forgot to get my son's bowl like i only ordered one i was supposed to get two entrees i got one but i was so like flabbergasted by the <laughs> i go get a bowl <laughs> i mean i'm yelling <laughs> and so oh my god who, what do you think happened you had to go back in line no old dad walks over and goes Explains the experience. I said, here you go, bud. You gave him your bowl? Of course. Bowl? I said, I have a protein bar in my bag. What? And that's what happened. That's crazy. I don't know if I'll ever do that for my kid. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I... if you end up with anything extra, I'd love a couple bites. i love a few scraps. And I think like, at some point he goes, he's like three quarters of the way done. He's like, do you want some? I'm like, well, if you're not going to eat... Not thinking he like, would even I'm not eat, gonna it. eat it, and he's like, um, "No, I will. Well, I will if you don't want it." I'm like, "Just eat it, man." Just you didn't it. have time to. Did you not have time to hop somewhere else, or do you did not have the energy after that? I was definitely not getting get, back in that line. Yeah, I would understand both. And Chick Fil A was just super long, and then the only other options were like McDonald's and then like a salad. Yeah. Like, which I could have done. It was fine. I was just like, you know what? I'll save the money. In my mind, that's what I go. Well, I'll save, save 15 bucks. I'm just going to do Always looking at the positive. Wow. I feel like, yeah, I don't know. Oh, my God. That was my quick Chipotle, more long Chipotle story. I don't know if I would have ever done that. What? Give, Give up my bowl, <laughs> especially after that experience. I know. I was like, I really deserve this now. But I would understand, like, because then you're dealing with the attitude. Because if that happened with me... Like, my mom, especially food is such a sensitive topic of, like, I'm such a foodie. Especially if I'm hungry, I get hangry. Yeah. Very bad. Everyone knows this. <laughs> Our dance team knows this. It's pretty bad. So, I feel like in a situation like that, I'd be like, it's fine. I don't even <laughs> want your food. It's fine. I'll figure it out. Well, there's a book. I think it's a book. It's called Leaders, Leaders Eat Last. And I think that yeah, I'm not I'm a just, <laughs> I'm just yeah. I mean, talk about business or whatever. Like I, I really am inherently always just willing to sacrifice for somebody else. And so I'm just like, oh, I'll just I'll figure it out. He can have it. You know, it's fine. Like I can make do. And so that's kind of how I handle most things. Um, Good for you. I will update you whenever that happens in my life. Well, what I hope, Jaden, is years from now, a million years, when I'm not on this earth anymore, that my kids or my grandkids they go, he was so selfless. Right. That would be a very endearing way for me to be thought of. And even work here. Like, uh, Bill was always just, he never thought about himself. Yeah. I think it's already working. Everybody talks very highly of you. Good. I appreciate that. And like, if they didn't, I would want to. Steph and I were talking about you yesterday, actually. <laughs> Uh-oh. <'Cause you> <laughs> <laughs> no, we were just saying, we're like, 
you are just such a person where you stay cool calm collected and when i would be scared if you were in a bad mood because i'd be like what's the protocol what do we do what's happening yeah what you know what i mean like the person that's just always in a good mood or always making jokes always cool calm collected yeah. anything out of those check boxes it's really interesting you say that so I'm my nervous. my training partner at crossfit when we were getting rid of this competition like we were doing something and it was a grind and we finished and we we're both like exhausted and and he's turned to me at one point he goes he goes i gotta tell you man like i was i felt like i was gonna die but i looked over your face and you had this like such a calming presence that i was just like it's gonna be okay and i was like huh i didn't do that intentionally <laughs> i was right. just like I was just doing me. I just try to never show anything. Like, never, ne don't let them see you sweat kind of thing, right? Yeah, I have an RBF, so that will never, <laughs> I will never get that comment from anyone in my life. Well, with that, talking about me, which I don't really like, I uh, thank you for your time. It's been great. I do feel like I didn't get a chance to sit and talk to you in any form or shape or fashion in the last, like, two weeks yeah. or so, just because I've been super busy in and out, and I actually left. I was like, oh, I don't, <laughs> and not that you ever think this, I'm like, She's like, I gotta talk to. She's probably like, why isn't Bill? He's such a jerk. He's still like, mad at me. Yeah, Did like, I do something. Sort of um, so I do appreciate you uh, understanding just kind of the just getting back from vacation and the craziness of the new year. But I'm just here. I'm always just here. Kind of just minding my beeswax. You Very know? proud of you. Pulled in this morning, right on time with the rest of the crew. So there she is. Punctuality. I love it. Stephanie, I guess I didn't. She she thinks, <laughs> which I kind of like. This is actually kind of fun. <laughs> she thinks that uh, I was talking to uh, K Kayla yesterday mm -hmm. out, out in the office, and it was about I guess it was eight ten, eight fifteen, mm -hmm. and um, I was being super sincere. Like Steph walks in and sits down. I go, I, it was it was meant to be sort of fun loving. It was just like, hey Steph, it's really nice to see you today. And she goes, she thought it was okay, sick. Bill, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I was like, and you're what? like, no, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, I, and of course, oh, then no. they don't believe me because I go, no, I didn't even wear it. Like, yeah, like, you don't know everything that's going on around here. I was like, I really didn't even have any idea what time it was or if you were scheduled I... to come in 15 minutes late. Like, I didn't know. I was well, <laughs> that's the thing. The past, I want to say the past month, I changed my schedule nine to five instead okay. of eight to four. Okay. Just because I'm having a hard time in the morning yeah, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. But today we had work to do. We had filming to do. Right. Thirsty Thursday. Right. So Kayla expected me at eight, so I showed up. Oh, nice. Ready nice. at eight. You know? Appreciate that. But yeah, I forgot what it was like. You have like. a great ethic, uh, work ethic for a young you younger person i feel like a lot of i'm generalizing of course but i do feel like it's my experience anyway has been harder to get the younger people to get here get on to be on time and do all the things um, i feel like a huge factor is just and i know we've talked about this but it's just the environment and the energy you're walking into because if you don't like your environment yeah of course yeah, you're gonna yeah, be like yeah, sure I don't want to go to work or I don't care to go to work or respect everything that goes into it yeah. because I've definitely had those jobs more so the environment, not anything to do with the people. Cause I can separate people from yeah, situations. Right, right, right. Not everyone can. So I just think it has a lot to do with that. Another amazing quality. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll come back next week with a topic. We'll stick to it and we'll be on time. I'm always there when you call. That's a Ja Rule Ashanti. Ashanti? Ashanti? Another old person? Ja Rule? No, Ja. I don't know what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> you should, on the way home, Spotify, Apple Music, whatever your streaming service is, you should look up Ja Rule and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> always always on time and then now forever when you hear that lyric you're like oh that was Ja Rule and Ashanti oh was... is is that like a 2000s song yeah, yeah. Um, it's a 2000s like a hip hop R&B yeah, kind of vibe she kinda <gasps> I love that always song I love that always song on 
I am. I apologize for my it's too late to apologize. Disgusted look when it's I was like, "Who is that?" Because I do. No, I love that song actually.